All right, guys, we are back here with the 401. We got a lot of work to do, Joe. I mean, I still can't believe how you and Keith came in with Harrison when I was at Oshkosh. I decided to call up Joe and Keith, and we, we took off the whole rest of the tail. <laughs> oh, man. No way. I think the airplane might have lost a couple pounds there. Oh, yeah, dude. They tore this thing apart. Like, look at this thing. There's nothing left back here. It's it, like all of a sudden we have like the incredible shrinking 401. So I came in and I'm like looking up at it and it just. It's it, missing it, a it, big piece. It blows, yeah, huge <laughs> pieces. Piece. And they're right there underneath the airplane. Um, we do have some carts being built to hold all these parts in. Eventually, we're gonna have to dig in and them get them cleaned out. I know yes. we were talking about that, still trying to figure out what's the best way to clean out the inside of them. I think it's just a lot of vacuum in labor. Um, you know, one of doing some dry ice blasting in another episode, but you know, just cleaning up all those parts and also inspecting every inch of them. Yep, make sure there's no corrosion. Yeah. Or clean yeah, any oh corrosion. Gosh, corrosion. Stop the corrosion. That's, corrosion yes. is like the worst thing. <laughs> in aviation ever. So, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty much what we're always talking about. Yeah. So today, speaking of corrosion, we have to pull up the entire floorboards of the 401, get it completely cleaned out, get the pilot, co-pilot seats out, and we're gonna vacuum it all out, look for corrosion, look for any concerns, dry ice blast it. Guys, the, the, the reality is with the 401, we gotta spend a lot of time just cleaning it up and looking for problems because we need to fix those problems. All right, all the problems gotta be fixed first. Yeah, 100%. And we found twisted wires, we found, yeah. uh, you know, stuck pulleys, we've obviously found corrosion in that left wing, which I think we might have found a wing. Parts uh, aren't, we're having trouble with parts with it, but we're gonna fix it, we're gonna get it done. So, we get, to play, we get to play with a dry ice blaster. Have you uh, played with one? No, I haven't yet. So it looks fun though. It's like the coolest thing ever. It's <laughs> it so definitely much looks fun. fun. It like eats the dirt away. I'm still trying to figure out where it goes, but um, it literally like destroys the dirt. That's nice. Ready to get at it? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Joe, you know what? I forgot something. <laughs> Welcome back to Rebuild, Rebuild Rescue. Rescue. <laughs> now, <laughs> let's get at it. Hey, is Sam here yet? Nope. No, not yet. not yet. What are you guys up to? You know, just playing a little bit of Raid Shadow Legends. Hanging out. Oh, uh, wow. So uh, that's funny because Raid Shadow Legends is our video sponsor for today. Oh, no way. <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah. crazy. That's awesome. Yeah, so what do you guys like most about Raid Shadow Legends? I mean, honestly, it's like playing a video game without a console. So, I mean, we can be sitting on the plane. We can be sitting here just playing a high quality video game, oh, just yeah. right on our phones. So, so wait a second, so this is like when I'm out working in the hangar and <laughs> you guys are on your phones, is this is what you guys are doing? Mm. Only three quarters of the time. Yeah. Yes, this is probably what you guys are doing, <laughs> I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it, well, like I can't blame you because it's one of my favorite games to play. My son and I, we play it all the time. And like, actually he usually like really kicks my butt. I'm not that good at it, but I'm learning. And I'm finding there's like a lot of really good characters on Radio Shadow Legends. Yo, Jason, honestly, you should join our clan, dude. We've been crushing people on it. Yeah, we've been doing yeah. pretty good. Yeah. What characters are you guys using? I've been using Norob. Yeah, he's got this sick mohawk. Real big oh, dude. He's a, he's a really good character. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've been using Astralon. He's been uh, doing good. See, yeah. now, Helmet is my favorite character. So, you know, you guys are right. We, we'd have like a really strong clan if we all joined forces and my son and his friends were totally gonna have to go after their clan. Oh, dude, we would, yeah, we would crush them. Oh, yeah. oh, that's awesome, let's do it. And this month, Raid's got a non-stop schedule of special events and activities, including Forge Pass Season 3, with some amazing rewards on offer, including a limited edition artifact set. If that's not enough, Raid's bringing out some new champions along with some awesome looking champion skins for the incredible Madame Ceres. But wait, here's the big news. Later this month, Raid is giving everyone's favorite champion the upgrade he deserves. You might have seen his struggle for awesomeness 
in some of Raid's hilarious videos, but finally, Death Knight is becoming a legendary champion. It's something we've all been waiting for and can't wait to see how Ultimate Death Knight turns out. Hey man, you think since you got a little sponsorship, you can hook us up with a deal? <laughs> like a special deal? Yeah, you got a deal for us? A little something. Oh, uh, yeah, I can, I can definitely get you guys a deal. Actually, everybody gets a deal. There's never been a better time to get started. New players, use my link or scan the QR code right here and get a free starter pack worth almost $30. And also this free champion, Ayana. You will find your rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only. And once you're in, you can find me under the name Rebuild Rescue. And if you're fast, you can join my clan. So just click in the link in the description and I'll see you in the game. It's looking like we have a ton of panels. I mean, how many screws do you think is <laughs> holding all this stuff There's down? There's probably 200. So I think the next question is how many screws are gonna strip when we go to pull them out? Uh, I'm guessing 10%, 20. Right, 10% to yeah, 20? 20. So about 20 screws That's, will probably be. If you use a good screwdriver. And you know what, we're gonna be replacing all these screws anyway. So I think the first thing we should do is, is probably pull these seats out, get them out of the way, because we need to pull the front floorboards up and, and everything. Right. The other question is, how much corrosion are we gonna find? Um, don't know, not until we get there. Hopefully not much. I mean, these are covered up. The birds really uh, were on the carpet and everything. Yeah. It shouldn't be so bad underneath. Yeah, I think I'm a little worried. Down there's some mice. Maybe but... the pilot side or the co-pilot side where the window was open down in that 100%. area might be a problem. Yeah. But we'll see when we get there. All right. Well, let's get these uh, seats out. Sheets up. So that's the only thing that was holding that from sliding all the way up. Well, it looks like the or the seat looks to be in good condition. It looks like we have some questionable uh, connectors here, wiring wise. But yeah, it looks like it's in good it's, condition. This is an electric seat. Yeah. <laughs> they probably disconnected it. Look at those old switches. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Oh, look, and it's, it's got like a belt drive. Yes, it does. <laughs> it's like a little, like a sewing machine, old sewing machine would have. All right. Nice, thank you. Yeah, no, that'd be awesome. Whatever information you got, if you had some uh, some pictures, you know, that you yep. could send us, I mean, that would be, that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I'll get whatever I can. Awesome, sounds good. Thank you. All right, see you later. All right, bye-bye. See you. That would be, so that would be like really amazing. If the wing straps were done, that would be like crazy awesome. Like crazy, crazy awesome. Like huge. Yeah, huge. Really huge. Yeah. That would save a lot of time. Yeah, Could like win a lot of money. Change quickly. Let's see. We'll find out. Can you grab this? Thank you. All right. Two seats out. And a big, huge floor to go. So now we're gonna pull all of these panels, like every single one, everything that we can pull up, this whole thing, all of this, all this stuff. We're gonna pull this all up. And if you guys remember, this is what it looks like underneath. We didn't see anything alarming, but this is gonna get us a good view of everything just to see where we're at. And we can see then if there's any concerns, but we'll get the driest blast. We're gonna vacuum all this up and then 
a little later on we're gonna get the dry ice blaster in here and clean anything up that we see from what I understand you can even dry ice blast this panel here without messing up any of uh, of the lettering you just got to turn it down to a finer granule size and and a lower air pressure we'll be able to literally like dry ice blast this and dry ice blast like the whole panel we're finally going to get a chance to take this off i'm really excited to see what's behind here because this was literally where the birds came in and out of and a lot of water came down here so a little bit worried about what's under there but also excited to see what it looks like so while joe and i are over wrestling with the 401 keith has been over here working on this cardinal rg and making it look awesome this carpet is gonna make this thing look so nice Did you ever fly in one of these keith i have this thing actually flies pretty good i mean it's about uh, 153 they're, knots they're fast yeah 141 knots i think it was i can't remember it was fa it was fast for what it is it looks like kind of like a grandpa airplane but easy to get in and out of like you could literally like like jump through here on a snowboard well i couldn't do it i'd rack and break my other leg but it's really cool yeah this new carpet's gonna look awesome does, does it look like it's fitting it's fitting like i expected it to what's that mean uh it just needs to be <laughs> persuaded <laughs> i know exactly what that means uh it's looking good though this thing's gonna be nice when it's done Looks like they had some kind of audio system in here and DVDs and stuff, it looks like. It's interesting. Yeah. I think we should probably pull all that insulation out. We're gonna put all brand new insulation in. Yeah, considering out. there was probably some mice running around in there at one time or another, and we should probably, you know, inspect everything back behind there. So get in here and Yeah it's, oh, yeah, it's it's pretty much a, a it's basic a ins insulation, really. I don't know if it's any more flame retardant than something that would be like in your house. A few extra pieces of hardware. There's uh, some seeds and you can tell the mice were chewing this away. So this is where they were coming in, getting some of the insulation to make that, uh, that home or mouse hotel in that left wing. So we're getting ready to take this panel off. This is over by the window that was leaking. It was pretty much the bird's perch. I have a feeling if there's anything bad in here, that's gonna be it. All right, that's a pretty nice view. And it doesn't look bad at all behind it. I was worried. That actually, there's nothing there. No way. There's no corrosion. I mean, a pile of crap, but no corrosion. I can see a mouse house up there. Yeah, that's a nice one there. Yeah, nice little house up in there. Let's see what that looks like behind there. That's where they got all their mice and stuff. <laughs> it's empty. Yeah, it's empty. <laughs> it's empty. It's well used. But it looks good. Like, I don't see, I no see corrosion. zero corrosion. There's like zero corrosion. Yeah, oh, look at that. Tiny bit of surface. That's nothing. Look at that up there, though. Yeah. That mouse house. So it that's the first. 
interior mouse house that I've seen and we'll pull that out of there too you know obviously we're gonna clean all this stuff up we'll vacuum this up we're gonna dry ice blast anything we see that needs blasting but man Joe I I'm really happy I think we dodged a bullet yeah I thought this was gonna be a bad yeah, I, area like I was really worried about it Thing is so disgusting <laughs> watch these things are like so brittle we're probably gonna be replacing all these got it yeah Hey, what's that, uh, what's that, uh, suspicious red pull cord thing? That's Whoa, true. that's like the, uh, ejector seat. That is an egress window. Uh, get out quick that, window? That piece right so there it. will come out of the airplane. Yeah. Which will uh, happen soon so we can let more air out of here. So it's like the airplane version of the school bus window yeah, kind of so, deal? Yeah. yeah. You pull that cord and pop and the handle pop and the- that and the whole window falls out mm. and it parts the airplane so you can get out. Ooh. There's a really nice original that's in perfect condition armrest out of a 401. Especially uh, crusty. A little crusty. Might want to wash your hands. Ugh. Under the panel, I see yeah. some uh, mice remnants. Yeah, doesn't look like they chewed on anything, no. Wow. I guess they had enough insulation to chew on, enough bird yeah. seeds. Yes. Perfect. All we got to do yet is get this left rear side, the lower and upper portion, and we know there's nothing unless that water, unless that window was <laughs> leaking water, water or something the water like was that. Was leaking windows. Yeah, it's, it's been a long day and it's getting pretty hot in here, so. times have you been to South America in this thing? South America? Yeah. No, I was never to South Are America. Are you sure? I'm positive. We've got to get this floor up yet, which uh, I'm about to do that now. Ton of screws for just one seat rail. Looks like just a little bit of corrosion underneath the rail, but nothing that can't be cleaned up. All right, let's get the other one out.
All right, there's round number two. Going to market? Nope. We got all the screws out of this side panel. This is the main spar coming right through here. So let's see what's underneath this panel. Let's watch, it's a little dirty there. We got this, uh, this panel off and this will give us a chance to look at the spar here and all the associated components all i see is a little bit of dirt everything looks good the wires the wiring looks good it looks absolutely perfect All right, let's see what it looks like under this uh, under this panel here. Man, it is looking so good. It's just got some grime and grease and oil. If you look in there, here's the main spar. That is the big thing that we have to worry about. It looks great. All we got is some mouse seeds down in here. We'll get that all cleaned out. We'll get this all dry ice blasted. It is going to clean up amazing. We have found zero corrosion inside so far. So we have four more panels to pull until this whole floor is completely up and we can inspect the whole thing. Man, it's hit a ton of work to get all these panels up. There's so many screws. We're gonna replace all those screws. Like I said, you know, this airplane project started out as let's get it started. Maybe it'll fly. Okay, let's get it flying to... Let's make a new Cessna. It's looking really good. I've looked at a bunch of airplanes in the last couple months. And ones that have sat outside. I can tell you guys right now, this 401 wants to fly. Like, I don't know how it's not in so much worse condition. It just keeps on surprising us. We're going to keep digging in. We're going to keep getting at it. Let's get this floor the rest of the way up and let's finish the inspection and then get out our new favorite toy. The dry ice blaster. So excited. Welcome back to day two of this episode, which is cleaning up the floor and pretty much everything else in the airplane with the dry ice blaster. I tried to sneak out of the house this morning with out Nicole. She knew what we were coming to do. If you guys didn't see the last episode on the TV 20, she took over the dry ice blaster, the cold jet machine, and she cleaned the engine up. She did such a good job, actually, we invited her back and talked her into dry ice blasting the 401. It's gonna be so much fun. Oh, and I also wanna take a minute and thank all you guys for stopping out at Oshkosh 2022. We had such a good time meeting you all. Uh, the team was just so floored with how awesome everybody was. Uh, we met so many people out there and we got to give away some really cool prizes. Check it out. Hey, Steve, what's happening? Hey, Curtis, how are you? Mr. Bruce, <laughs> what's happening, brother? Not much, dude. Just got home from work not too long ago, just relaxing. <laughs> nice. You won fifth place, which is really cool because I got to see you out at Sun and Fun. Yeah. You know, so you're, you were the only person I saw at both air shows. So, yeah, yeah, so you definitely like top five. I was like, yes, that's awesome. You are winner number three of, uh, you know, of the, uh, the prize drawing out at Oshkosh. Yeah, it's awesome. I was just like, I got your text and I was like, oh my goodness, I can never <laughs> win anything. Well, it was just, it was just cool to, to meet you guys, to meet you and Sam and, uh, and the crew. It was just awesome. I can tell you that it was more cool for me 
to meet you. You ended up being the first place drawn winner out at Oshkosh. That's so, right. <laughs> so I'm gonna either um, you know send the the prize money either in Venmo or PayPal. So the thousand dollars. So I'm gonna throw back five hundred of that back into the foundation. Oh, that's awesome. That that's so cool. You didn't have to do that. We really appreciate it. Uh, we're like way excited about the Rescue Foundation. Like it's uh, it's it's one of those things. Like it's a dream that you know I, I never thought we'd be able to do something this big. Uh, so so it's it's gonna be awesome. Well, get enough help and you can do anything. Amen. Amen, brother. Awesome. Sounds good. Well, thank you so much. It was great to meet you. It was awesome to talk to you, Curtis. I appreciate you coming out to Oshkosh, meeting us. Um, it was an amazing experience. And, uh, you know, I appreciate you watching the channel. Yeah, thanks, Jason. You Absolutely. Take care. You too. I appreciate it. Awesome. Take care. Okay. Awesome, Bruce. It was good talking to you, brother. Good talking to you. Take care, man. You too. Good luck with all the projects, man. Thank Bye. you. I appreciate it. Bye. <laughs> and I also wanted to thank Aspen Avionics, Avidine Avionics, Croil Lubricants by Kano Laboratories, and Pilot Institute. Guys, please take a minute. We're going to put all the links to their websites below. Check them out. If you guys need avionics, you guys know who to see. They've been supporting the channel. They're going to be getting a lot of expensive equipment <laughs> installed into the 401 so it can be safer for all the missions we're gonna fly. So check them out. And thank you so much for those of you who were able to come out and see us. And for all of you that were able to join in on the live stream with us and congratulations to all the winners. Yeah, so let's get some dry ice in the machine. Let's get to blasting. <laughs> Go time. <laughs> I what love do you it. Think? You love it? I love any tool that makes things easier, and this definitely makes things easier. It does for sure. Well, and like all that stuff that you just took off of there, we scrubbed it, we grinded it, we put chemicals on it, we did like everything that you can think of to try to get it off of like a standard way. But this thing just chews through it, and if you look at the surface, it doesn't pit it or, or anything. It's, it's perfectly smooth yet. 
So guys, if you didn't see the TB20 episode, go check out the TB20 episode. The guys from Cold Jet stopped by, they dropped off this machine and they trained us on it. They showed us exactly what we gotta do. Two is compressed air and dry ice. One is just compressed air if you're wanting to blow off any debris that may have settled on the surface. I also have a nice lighted function Hi. on here. Push in the yellow, pull in the gray part. Cool. So we can dial this thing back as well in order to hit some of the wires and, okay. and tubes on there as well. So the guys and gals stopped out from Cold Jet and we always like to get folks up in the air so they can enjoy aviation just like we do. They were just awesome. This machine's awesome. We also have a link in the description. Click the link, check their website out, and see what cold jet dry ice blasting is all about. This is an awesome machine. It's fun too. Yeah, it is fun. It's satisfying. Awesome. Well, you're doing a great job. I'm gonna go back inside here and keep ripping out the floor. Okay. So yeah, I mean, anything, anything that you see, we can get off. It all has to come off. We have a bunch more inspections to do, and having this perfectly clean, it's awesome. All right. Works good. Sounds good. All right, after wrestling with these, this other set of seat rails for a couple hours, it's a little hot in here. <laughs> so, uh, but we got them loose and uh, they're ready to come out. And this is one of the things I had a couple people, actually I had someone here at the airport ask why we were pulling the whole floor up and why we were going through all of this uh, extra work. Well, this is why right here. So if you look in the bottom of this seat rail, it had something spilled under here at one time and look at what was under there. It's still salvageable. We're gonna get to zinc, chromate, primer, everything when we put it back together. This thing's gonna be solid green, 100% protected. So the 401 is gonna be doing missions after I'm gone. And that's, that's our goal. Like, I wanna see this airplane, we all wanna see this airplane, do missions for the rest of its life. And if we restore it the correct way now, it's gonna last a long time and it's gonna be able to provide transportation, you know, for, for a lot of people. And that's what I'm really looking forward to. I can't wait for our first mission. All right, let's pull this floor up and take a look. Take a look under here, see what it looks like. I don't see anything concerning. Everything looks good. Two more panels to go. A couple inspection plates up there in the front. And then we can start vacuuming. Guys, it's looking really, really good. Let's see what it looks like under here. All right, here is panel five and Looks like it's a lot of the same that uh, same thing. It's just just some dirt, you know. And wow, this this is awesome. Love it. Check this out. Last panel. Hopefully, uh, there's nothing bad under there.
looks promising. Just a couple of mouse seeds in here. A couple hundred mouse seeds in here. No corrosion. No chewed wires, no chewed hoses. A little bit here. Like you can tell they chewed through that a little bit, but it looks like they didn't like it then, so they stopped. Awesome. Well, let's get the rest of these pulled up out front. Actually, you know what? First, I think, because there's so much mouse nest up front there, I think we'll we'll vacuum this all up. We'll vacuum this all out. Everything's looking, like, really good. All right, so all the panels are up from the floor of the 401, got my PPE, and the real star of the show, which is the vacuum, because this thing has done more work than I think all of us put together. <laughs> so, but we're almost down to having all this stuff vacuumed out of here. We'll go in, we're gonna vacuum it out, see what we got. Holy cow, dude. Is this everything we've been pulling off of this? Not quite everything, but we wanted to lay everything out and see what we have and take a good look at it. Dude, this is nuts. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. Holy cow. This is just the interior, I think. This is like a quarter of it. <laughs> oh, jeez. So we got about 90, 95% of the walls, the floor, the whole undercarriage of the 401 vacuumed. It's hot in there, but it's looking really good. So unfortunately, our dry ice blaster needs a lot of compressed air and our air compressor went out. So we have a company here servicing it. However, we're not gonna have air in time to dry ice blast the floor area and also share it with you guys. So it'll be in a future episode. So Jake's been going through all the parts of the 401 today, categorizing them, marking them, and getting them ready to be sent out. A lot of these parts are gonna be sent out to different parts of the country, getting different things done to them. And Jake, you're like sweating up a storm. This is like, yeah. this is a lot of stuff. It's a few things, just a few things. I, I can't believe as we've been looking at this pile that we've touched all these parts. We've taken out hundreds, if not thousands, I'm sure thousands of screws out of all these parts. And we're only like halfway done taking the 4-1 apart. We have so much work to do, but guys, look at this. Can you believe this? No, not at all. It's a lot. It's like the world's biggest model airplane. I mean, I used to like doing models when I was a kid, but this is just crazy. But we've come so far. And we've got a lot further to go. We do, we have, <laughs> we have a lot further to go. 
So we're gonna get all these marked, everything categorized, and really get it, get them put back in a place here. So now that we got that floor pretty much cleaned up besides the ice blasting, we also gotta come in and dry ice blast the front of this. We're getting really close to knowing what's good, what's not, what needs replaced, and what all parts we have to overhaul. Now if you guys look at <laughs> Look at this floor of parts. <laughs> Man, it is a ton of parts. We got to go over every single one of these parts, check them out, make sure they're good. If they're not, either get them replaced or get them overhauled. So speaking of parts, we just got a phone call earlier today. There's a 401 out in Ohio and we're gonna be flying out there in the next episode. We'll be checking it out. It might be the donor for all the parts that we need for the free abandoned airplane. So guys, make sure you check out the next episode. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so you know when the next adventure's gonna be happening.